Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have an exciting little tutorial for you. It's how to show the Divi hamburger menu that you see on mobile, but show it on desktop. And it's actually really easy to do this. And I'm also gonna include maybe a couple of other scenarios. You might wanna have like a normal menu um, with a couple items and then a hamburger menu on the side. I've seen that before. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Even um, someone just asked me how to have like the desktop menu on mobile. They didn't want it to be the hamburger menu. They wanted it to be like three menu items side by side. And it's the same principle, it's just reversed. I'm gonna show you all of that in this tutorial. So let's get started. Hey, I just wanna say here before we get started, be absolutely sure to check our blog here on Friday if you're watching this video right when it comes out. And we're gonna be having a freebie day and it's going to be really big and I'm talking like really big it's going to be 101 menu animations like hover effects and things that you can add to your divi website that's going to all be free check that out friday if you're watching this you know after this is released well it's still going to be there that's going to be um, coming out on our blog it's going to just be called you know 101 divi menu animation hover effects something like that be sure to check that out. You can have that and be sure to check out our Facebook group, The Divi Teacher. All right, let's get started on this one because this one's gonna be a, a lot of fun. So we wanna show a Divi hamburger menu on desktop. And you know, I, I probably should back up and say the way the Divi menu module works. So on desktop, it's kind of showing one menu module and it's actually showing you a different one on mobile and you may not realize that because it's the same module but what's happening is it's made up of completely different you know structure right and really it's just hiding the mobile one on desktop and hiding the desktop one on mobile and that's how it works that's how it's always worked that's how the new menu module works so we're kind of just reversing that and we're getting you know our hamburger menu on desktop so I'm going to show you live here some examples and, and I'm going to show you a couple like I'm going to show you how to put a regular menu next to a hamburger menu. You know, I have two of them right there on desktop and I'm also going to show you a couple people asked how to put a regular desktop menu on mobile and I can kind of see that that's helpful. But anyway, start with the, probably the most exciting one, just adding that hamburger menu to desktop. So over, if you're watching this on YouTube, over on the blog, we always link to the written tutorial because that's where we have our um, code snippets. So if you're on the YouTube, just you know click that link down there below the video and go over here to the blog, grab the very first one here, the snippet under um, Divi Hamburger Menu on Desktop, copy that. And then go over here, I'm gonna show you live, you would wanna put this on your site, but I'm just going to show you this here. This is just your, your 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 menu module. It's just here sitting here on desktop. And when we go in here to the page settings and the advanced tab, custom CSS, we can paste that snippet here. And really you would want to put this in your Divi theme options, but I'm showing you right here live so you can see the effect right here as we're working. So I'm going to paste this here. You watch what happens to our menu, right? Okay, it becomes a hamburger menu, which is what you would see on mobile. And remember what I said, we're, we're kind of reversing it. So the first part of the code is saying, you know, hide the normal one, the desktop one, and oh, by the way, show the mobile one at, um, you know, above 980, which is, you know, the desktop and tablet transition there. So, that's how easy it is. Now, if you wanted to target like specifically one of these, you would have to add a class, change the ETPB menu to your own class and the same thing here. Um, that way you can target, like if you had multiple ones on your website and you only wanted to target one with CSS. And I'm actually gonna show you that in the next one here. So let's get back to the blog. The next one is, you know, showing a regular menu next to a hamburger menu. And, um, and again, here is where we are adding this class. So we'll, we'll take this class and we're going to call it, you know, PA hamburger menu. Copy that class. Let's get back here. We have another example. 
um, actually, you know, <clears throat> I got to get rid of the code I had in there because it's affecting everything on my page. Okay, so here I have one where, you know, as you can see, there's I have two menu modules and I have I have it set up so that there's a, a different column structure here, of course. Um, it might be like one fifth or something like that. So in over here in the big area, I have my where I want my normal menu to be. But maybe I also want to have like some other menu items under here, maybe some secondary ones or you know what I mean, just some that you want to have that aren't as important here. So you want just this one to become a hamburger menu. Sure. Go in there to the settings on, on that one. Go to the advanced tab and open this toggle here, CSS ID and classes. Oh, I already have it in here. So paste that in there. Okay, so we have um, PA hamburger menu. So we're gonna target this one here with CSS, that's it. Before, in the one I just showed you, we were, we were just sort of targeting everything, but now we just want this one, okay? So let's go back, grab this snippet now, and of course this one is you know under this section here showing both of them so copy that and you'll see in here I'll show you go into the page settings advanced tab custom CSS and paste it there and there you go so now we have you know two of them side by side and I added this background here so you could see it um, but you'll you'll see what's happening here we have that we're targeting this class right here PA hamburger menu right and again, what it's doing is exactly what we showed you before, but this time we're just targeting this one. So we're saying, you know, hey, you know, on, on desktop screens, display none. Like we don't want to see the, um, the desktop one anymore here. <laughs> and then we want to show the mobile one. So that's what it's doing. So that, I think that's kind of cool. I can see a lot of uses for that. Um, and then what's, oh, my last one here is someone actually asked me this and at first I was like well that's so weird like that doesn't make sense but when I thought about it this works so they wanted to have they didn't want their menu they didn't want their menu to be come a hamburger menu on mobile all right they they wanted to have like three menu items side by side without it you know and I agree like that that can be kind of annoying maybe you have like a footer menu and you have like you know your privacy policy terms and conditions and um, your site map or whatever you know and and there's like three things and you really don't want it to be a hamburger menu because it makes it look like you know it kind of draws your attention like oh I'm gonna click that so you want to keep it you know just in a nice line and you don't want to switch it over to like a text module and stuff because then it won't auto update well just use this snippet so copy this and we're gonna go back here I guess well okay I guess I'll show you um, one show desktop menu on mobile I have this example here so okay so basically let's go to mobile that way you can see it so you can see here in my preview already it's going to a hamburger menu and that's the one let's say that's the one where we don't want that to be doing it um, you would go in here and again See, we this is from our last one, but just go in here and paste that snippet and see what it does. It overrides that. And now, you know, with five items there, it could be getting a little wide. But again, like if you had three or four, I think it would be perfect. So all of these three, you know, I think are really helpful depending on the situation, you know, especially maybe just showing that hamburger menu on, on desktop or like like having two there. Um, and then of course the side by side. So I'm really excited about these. If I've missed like some kind of scenario, please let me know. Maybe I can do some updates or do another one. And let me know what other menu tutorials you want to see, like CSS or sub menu or list items. Like, t let me know what you want to do because I have lots of ideas. But I want to make sure that I'm doing stuff that that people in my group are you know actually interested in doing. All right, so that was probably a, a, the, one of the most requested things that I've had here in a while. So let me know what you want to see next, and hopefully I can do that. 
um, you can figure it out and maybe I already have a snippet. I have hundreds of snippets that I could post. On our website we have something called the Divi Snippet Club and it's really just um, a bunch of Divi code snippets that are not really like full length tutorials. So we're going to be posting a lot of this stuff there as well. So it's kind of like um, just just little snippets that don't really qualify for a full tutorial or even like a video. So so any of the blog posts that qualify for a video you'll find in the normal blog section. But then other ones where it's just real short and quick and handy, um, you can grab them over there where it says Divi Code Snippets. All right, so be sure to subscribe. Join us in our Divi Teacher Facebook group. And we'll see you in the next video.